An organic vegetable farm in the town of Unity shut down by PFAS contamination could soon provide solutions to the ongoing toxic crisis. The source of the pollution was industrial sludge shipped to a 40 acre property and used as free fertilizer, a state approved practice that spanned several decades. Maine Farmland Trust recently bought Songbird Farm with plans to give it a new future as a research tool. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us how. It's been a long while since Adam Nordell set foot on the farm. He and his wife Joanna Davis worked for years to build. It's quite difficult to, to go back there. Two years ago, Songbird Farm was a thriving operation producing organic vegetables and grain. Then the couple had to pull produce from the shelves after high levels of toxic chemicals known as PFAS were discovered in the water, in the soil, and inside their bodies. The pollution came from industrial sludge spread as fertilizer on the farm in the 90s before the couple owned it. Now this land could play a key role in future research. Losing Maine's farmland to contamination just isn't something that we're willing to entertain, so we want to be part of the solution. Amy Fisher is the CEO and president of the Maine Farmland Trust. The nonprofit recently purchased the 40 acre property and is looking to partner with researchers by springtime to plant specific crops and study how PFAS impacts them. They will also test ways to possibly decontaminate the soil. Some technology, some technique um, that that can clean up the farm so that they, they can be safe places to grow food and safe places to live on again. A delegation of Mainers, including Adam and other impacted farmers and researchers, will attend a conference at Michigan State University this Sunday. Maine Farmland Trust and the University of Maine is co-organizing the symposium with a grant from the USDA. It's going to bring all the top PFAS researchers in the U.S. and possibly across the world together to explore the role of PFAS in agriculture. State agricultural officials, meanwhile, are drafting rules for a $60 million five-year plan. The PFAS fund would provide financial support for farmers, buy out contaminated farms, to medical monitoring, blood testing, and mental health services. Those final rules will be presented at a public hearing later this year. Songbird's research lab could serve as a future model for other Maine farms to sell their tainted land. And hopefully there will be a breakthrough in the next few years. And a new path forward for dozens of farmers across the state. In Unity, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.